Um, this is my first video where like you're seeing my face and I'm talking. Um, my previous video was my bath routine for severely dry and eczema sensitive skin. If you want to go check that out, I'll li link it up here. I think it'll be up here where the little eye is or up here. Um, and um, so today I'm going to show you my skincare routine for my face. I'm going to do like a face mask, a face wash. Uh, a DIY sugar scrub I used to exfoliate my face with, my moisturizer, and two lip products, and a little face spray, you know. <laughs> I'm probably gonna leave a lot of this weird, like, this in here because this is my first video and it's like weird because like I ain't never done a video like this before, so. Um, okay, so excuse the bathroom if you're like, oh, she got a messy bathroom. I shared this bathroom with my grandma. And my husband and my boyfriend Chad who behind the camera yes so and then my mom lives here too but she got her own bathroom so um okay so I'm just sipping on a little bubbly sparkling water lime flavor is really good so we gonna get to it got my hair pulled back so you don't get your hair all messed up when you're washing your face and stuff okay so let's go so as y'all can see, I got a little bit of discoloration around my mouth because I have eczema and it gets dry sometimes and I have a few little bumps that's breaking out and I get bad blackheads on my nose. So these are the things I use to kind of help control that. So of course I'm going to take my glasses off. Y'all, I can't see and I don't have contacts so I am blind. So if I look weird, I start growing cross-eyed or some shit, like y'all just going to have to forgive me for that. Okay, so I'm going to make sure... My water is a good temperature I like. I don't like it too hot or too cold. Okay, I think that's good. So I'm just wetting my face. You want to get your face damp, you know. Everybody, you should know how to wash your face. So I got my little face towel over here just in case I get soap in my eyes or something. Okay, so first I'm going to take the Bliss Clog Dissolving Cleansing Milk with gentle exfoliating enzymes. It protects the skin with great with extracts of grapeseed and bitter orange. And it's a dual function face wash and five minute mask. So sometimes when I'm in the shower, what I'll do is I'll rub this on my face like a face wash and then I'll let it sit. And then when I'm done washing my body, then I'll wash it off my face. But for now, I'm going to just use it as a face wash. I got this from TJ Maxx. It was on clearance. Um, and the clearance price was like $9. So I'm pretty sure this is a little bit pricey. But it works really well. It's not too harsh on my skin. Um, so I'll link it down below if you want to check it out. I'll probably put the link through like the actual Bliss website. And I might find a, like, a Target link or something where it can be cheaper. I think it's locked. Hold on. Yeah, so you can twist. I forgot about this. You can uh, twist the pump to lock it and unlock it so it doesn't like uh, spill out everywhere if you're traveling with it. I'm gonna just massage this on my face. How you regularly just wash your face. So comment down below how y'all are doing and what are some of y'all's favorite face products. If y'all have any recommendations for really dry skin or eczema, let me know because I'm always trying to heal it without having to use the steroid creams. Because the steroid creams heal it really fast but they're actually really bad for you in the long run. So I really like to try to use more all natural stuff. Or ethical stuff which some of this isn't really all natural but it works for me and you kind of got to do with what you have sometimes so that's what I'm doing I'm just gonna rinse this off now I 
I try not to get this in my eyes. Try not to get the soap in my eyes because that'll kind of burn a little bit. But it is gentle enough where if you close your eyes, you can wash over your eyelid and eyebrow area and stuff. So now after you get water all up and down your arms, dripping down everywhere and <laughs> you get it on your shirt and your eyes, I got some on the sock. <laughs> I kind of pat my face down a little bit. You can turn the water off now. Um, leave your face a little bit damp and you can wipe your eyes off if you got soap or something in your eyes. And I'm going to do the face mask next. So this is the Queen Helen mint julep mask. It says it's a complexion solution and deeply cleans and refreshes oily and acne prone skin. My skin is oh. <laughs> um, my skin is really weird because it'll be oily and dry at the same time like my forehead will be super oily all around here will be crusty my nose will be like in the middle and my cheeks are usually fine and my chin will be oily so it's just like what's my skin doing so I like to use this to get my blackheads out and really it just like detoxes the skin just sucks everything out I got this from Walmart it was like three dollars and something so I'll link it below I'm gonna try and link all the products below This is like a green minty clay mask and it smells really good and you get a lot of product in this tube. It says um, the net weight is 227 grams I think that is and then it says 8 ounces so this is 8 ounces of product for like less than $5 which I think is a really good deal and this has lasted me like over a year I've had this for a while and I know some people are probably going to be like oh you need to throw it out like it's expired but you know sometimes it's still good past the expiration date and it doesn't smell funny or anything or feel funny and yeah it says back here it's got the little label it says um 12 months and this expires after 12 months and it's got the little it looks like a bunny so i'm not sure if this is cruelty free or not but it doesn't have it's not the regular cruelty free bunny so you can look at that and see if this is a product you might be interested in getting if you're like vegan or something like that and so i'm just going to spread this on my face Spread it all over. You can just put this in certain spots if you want to as a spot treatment. You can just put it in your T-zone. I need to do it all over my face because I haven't done this in a while. And you can use a good bit of product. When I was a little girl, I used to always want to do these face masks and I like I would see people in the movies do a little spa and I'd be like, oh, I always want to do a green face mask. And then I found this. I'm like, oh, there's a green face mask. So I got this. This is good. Like if you're going to do like have a party and have friends over, but y'all are like, you know, broke and you need to throw some money together to do a cute little spa day. This is more than enough to like cover all of y'all. Like you could probably have a group of like 10 people and like you wouldn't even go through half of this too. So like. A little bit goes a long way. You might get some of your hair up in it. I try to avoid that, but it'll like come off your hair. You can wash your hair to get it out. Or you can wash it out when you wash the stuff off your face. Normally I would spread this on my nose first so it would have more time.
because I have the most blackheads on my nose. My nose and my chin are kind of like my problem areas. You don't want to put it too thick because then it won't dry all the way. But if you work kind of fast and you keep spreading it evenly across everywhere, you'll be fine. I think that's good enough. Okay. So you're going to leave, oh wait, did I miss a spot? Oh, hold on. I missed a spot. Okay. So you're going to leave the mask on for like 10 to 15 minutes. It says on the back, apply over cleansed face, avoid eye areas after 5 to 10 minutes, rinse with warm water. Um, so it just depends, you know, once it's dry, rinse it off. And um, just a little bit about the mask. It says, our original all-time favorite green mask instantly absorbs excess oil, extracts impurities, and helps minimize the appearance of pores. After use, skin is deeply clean with a fresh oil, free feel, and healthy looking complexion. And I do notice that after I use the mask. So. I'll be right back with you after it dries and I'll wash it off and I'll do a little zoom in bit uh, to show you like you can actually see some of the stuff coming out the pores and stuff. I'll show you when we come back. As you can see little dots on my nose is where the blackheads are being pulled out from my pores. You might see a little on my chin. Maybe some on my forehead. The cheeks. It's almost dry. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> it's going to start to feel a little bit dry and chalky while it's drying. <laughs> well, it's pretty much completely dry except for a few of these soft spots. And uh, But I'm going to go ahead and wash it off because... It's pretty much dry. If you put it on really thick, sometimes it'll crack when you open your mouth and stuff, but I just kind of did a thin layer, so. This is a sugar scrub I made with coconut oil, organic unrefined like virgin coconut oil, um, organic like raw sugar, <gasps> excuse me, and organic honey. I got um, all of those ingredients from Aldi. Aldi is a grocery store. I'm not sure if you have one in your town. Um, and then this is an old cherry jar that I just reused and put it in its glass. I really like to reuse my containers I get from food if I can um, to make it more eco-friendly and stuff on the environment, more sustainable living. And you can find this like recipe online. I didn't measure anything out. It smells really good. It smells like honey and you can eat it. Um, it lasts a long time. I made this like over a month ago and it's still going strong. And I use this on my body and on my face and it's a good like lip exfoliator. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, you don't have to measure it when you're making it. You can just like add the stuff in and mix it to whatever consistency you want. So you can, if you want it more looser, you can put less sugar, granules. If you want it like you know, more scrubby, you can add more sugar to it, and if you're having a hard time mixing it, add some more honey, and it'll really help stir it up, and like, I like to mash it, and then kind of stir it, because I, I use the solid coconut oil, not the, like, liquidy one, yeah, okay, so now let me exfoliate, I'm gonna add a little bit more water to my face,
you just scoop it out and rub it on your face and look disgusting. It tastes really good. It's safe to eat. If you, you know, you can just lick it off your lips and there you go. It's not harmful. It's all things you can cook with. And your skin is going to feel really soft and you're going to kind of feel a little bit of a film on it from the honey and the coconut oil but you don't have to keep scrubbing or wash it again to get it off because this will just soak into your skin. Honey, um, it's actually, it's not really sticky because you're not using a ton of it and since it's mixed with the coconut oil, it's like an oily consistency. Honey and coconut oil is really, really good for your skin, but you have to be careful because coconut oil can clog your pores, but the honey has a lot of really good healing benefits and properties to it. Hmm. It's really moisturizing too. So you can see this is how my skin looks after I've done the face wash, the face mask, and the sugar scrub. You can see any redness and inflammation is kind of toned down. No more dry skin flakes. My lips, <coughs> excuse me, are very chapped. And any oil and impurities that have been sucked out um, by the mask have been kind of, the oils, the good oils have been kind of replenished from the um, coconut oil and the honey in the face scrub. So now I'm going to moisturize. I'm going to use Fruit of the Earth brand's vitamin E skincare cream. You can get like a two pack of this um, from Walmart for like three dollars and some change and each container is four ounces so you get a good bit of product and I moisturize my whole body with this after I get out of the shower, after I wash my face. And the vitamin E really helps heal your skin. And healing the skin is very important to me, um, for me, for my skin, because I have really bad eczema. And so, you know, I'm guilty of scratching and cracking it open, and it's like an open wound you gotta heal up. So as you can see, I put a big dent in this container, and it's just kind of like a kind of like it's not too thick but it's not very thin either it's like a medium consistency cream um if you tend to be oily i would suggest only doing this at night and then using like a lighter moisturizer in the morning and i'm just gonna rub it on my hands together and rub it over my face i think i might have added a little bit too much but that's okay because it's gonna soak in and it's the night time so I'm going to go to sleep in a few hours anyways. And you can bring this down onto your neck. I know you're going to, some people out there are going to say, oh, you're rubbing it in too roughly. You're supposed to rub it upwards. I just do what works for me. As long as I'm not crusty, I'm happy. Um, this is the Mario Badescu Rose Water Facial Spray with Aloe Herbs and Rose Water. Um, I almost finished it. Again, I've had this for like 
over a year. It says on the back here that this expires after 24 months, so this is good for two years. I really like this. this I use this as a toner. You can also use this to set your makeup with, soothe your skin. Sometimes when I get out of the shower, I'll spray it all over my body. Um, but I would do this before I put my facial moisturizer on. Um, but I would just do it now anyways. And this is good to use like throughout the day if you need to refresh. <laughs> Got a little bit in my mouth. It's okay. Hmm. But the toner just helps restore like pH balance to your skin after you've done the mask and like stripped it from stuff and exfoliated and all that stuff. Put a little bit of moisturizer on my hands. We've already exfoliated the lips with the sugar scrub. They're nice and smooth, got most of the dead skin off. So now I'm going to use a chapstick. You can use whatever chapstick and lip oil you want to use. This is the EOS lip balm. Um, I believe this is like the strawberry flavor. I do it all over my lips and a little bit outside of my lips. And you can let that set, set uh, you can let that set in or you can go ahead and put the lip oil on top of it like I'm going to do. Um, this is the Broadway brand. It's just called Broadway. Broadway brand Vitalip Mint Oil Lip Gloss. This is a dollar from, I got mine from Dollar General. I've seen this brand at Dollar General, Family Dollar, Dollar Tree. Just check out dollar stores. Sometimes like Walmart and other stores will have this brand of stuff. This is really good. I really like this lip gloss. It's not sticky. It's minty. Makes your lips look juicy. It's got one of these applicators, a little plastic one that's got a little hole in it. So this is what I do for my skincare routine. I hope you enjoyed. If you'd like to see more content from me, please like and subscribe down below. And turn on the notification bell if you want to get notifications for when I post. Thank you for watching. Bye.